Alright guys, welcome back to Buzz and Spots in Japan. Alright, so we have a lot of very interesting ingredients over here. We have shiroebe, which is a special sort of shrimp in here. Does give this displays it that sort of Japanese look, right? Like that wa touch, right? Handprint of a sumo wrestler. You can see their hands are quite big. Here with us we have the taisho or the owner, the, the head of this place, right? Uoni. And he, he loves drinking, he loves whiskey. I love whiskey, I think we're gonna get along just well. Yeah. Alright guys, so right over here we have an otsumami platter. I think I've talked about this before, but otsumami are like snacks for when you're having a drink, right? Today I'm having whiskey, of course, you know how it is, I love whiskey. And we have a, quite a variety of stuff today. Over here we have um, red snapper crackers. These are looking very good. They actually smell very good. I'm really looking forward for these ones. Over here we have uh, awabi, which is a special type of clam that we have in Japan. All right, so over here we have sanma no kunse, which translates to smoked pike. Then coming over here, we have a very special type of clam called awabi. It's very hard, but tasty. I really love this. This is this one over here. Then over here, we have a specialty of the region, which is called dojo no karaage, which is a, a very small sort of um, a fish that we have in Japan. It's, it's, called, it's called louch. We, we don't really like see it very often over there, but it's sort of like a sardine kind of thing. Then over here, over here we have a red snapper, red snapper crackers. I am really looking forward to this. And lastly, over here, we have gobo, which is a very special root in Japan that is included in a lot of food. I, I really love it. It's kind of a little bit sort of bitter, and, and um, depending on how they, they uh, prepare it, it's also sweet. All right, let's start with the smoked pike. You can actually see that it still has the X inside. I'm really looking forward for this. Are you guys ready? Oh, that definitely smells smoked. It also smells a lot like soy sauce. Hmm. Hmm. I was expecting it to be a little bit more powerful, but it's actually very mild. Yeah. Let's clean our taste buds with some whiskey. Oh, that's so good, I'm telling you. The Taisho has a very good taste in alcohol. Now we're going to go with the Gobo, which as I said, it's a root. Ooh, it fell. It's a root. I, I love Gobo, so I think this is just going to be really good. Look at that. Mm. 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 Perfect. What, what can I say? It's Gobo. It's, it's amazing. You should really try it when you come to Japan. First, we're going to start with the Awabi, which as I said, is a very special type of clam. In Japanese, you say kori kori, which it, it means that it has a lot of, um, it has a, a really interesting bounciness to it, right? Kori kori, bounciness kind of thing. It's, it's very meaty. Let's try this out. I love this one. I, I really love awabi. You don't see this in Japan a lot, so if you guys go to a place that has awabi, don't hesitate to buy it. It's sort of expensive, but believe me, it's worth trying. There we go. <laughs> That's so good. Can you hear that? The, the bounciness of the, of the meat? That's some ASMR for you guys. <laughs> All right, let's go to the dojo no karaage, right? I actually haven't had this before. I'm looking forward to it. It's like a very small fish. I, as I said, it's called a louch in English. I've never heard about it though. It's sort of like a sardine. I've never had this. Let's, let's see what it tastes like. You can also already like See, it's going to be crunchy, right? Hmm. It's very salty. There's a fish taste. It's almost like jerky. I think they 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 actually dried it off before frying it because it it has like this very sort of jerky properties to it. It's really good. It's it 
goes perfect, it goes perfect with alcohol. Like this and beer would be a perfect combination for a nice evening. Last but not least, the Red Snapper Crackers. These actually have a special type of salt into them, which is a salt that is made from the eggs of another fish. Oh, you can already smell it. Oh God, it smells so good. Mm. You hear that? It's super crunchy. Mm. These are fried to perfection. Wow! I love awabi, but I think today my favorites are these ones. Yeah, these are great. These are really good. All right, guys, so one of the producers just challenged me to eat this part over here. This is actually a part of the innards of the awabi. When I cook this at home, I always make it into a paste with butter, soy sauce, and cream, and, you know, sprinkle some uh, spring onions on top, but I've never had it like this. This is kind of a challenge because uh, he just told me that a lot of people like this, but also a lot of people hate this. So, let's see how it goes. Will it be good or not? Is it buzzing or is it going to be yeeted? Let's go. Ooh, that actually smells very livery. Should I put soy sauce in it? Soy sauce? Nah, just like this. All right, I'll try it. Here goes nothing. If you guys like liver, you're gonna like this. If you don't like liver, don't try it. It's very livery. It's like liver times 10. <laughs> it's not bad, but it has a special taste to it. It's kind of an acquired taste, I would say. Nice challenge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so up next, a must having any Japanese restaurant. Sashimi, right? Or fresh fish, right? In Gifu, we don't have the sea or we don't have a bay. We don't have like a place to, you know, fish. Fish, right? We're very close to other places that have fish like Nagoya, like Aichiken, right? Uh, we're also close to Osaka. Well, not that close, but it's maybe an hour or two hour drive. So you can eat good sashimi in, in Gifu. Someday, someday we'll take you to a real sushi place in Gifu and you're going to enjoy that as well. But for the time being, we're going to go with this specialty today. This is just like we said, like uh, with the uh, awabi kimo, it's same innards. Over here we have bread snapper, thai. Over here we have kinmedai, which is a very special fish in Japan. It's very, very expensive and very, very luxurious. Over here we have uh, maguro or um, tuna, right? The sable. And over here we have a special fish that I've never heard of. And this is actually the first time I'm going to eat it. What was the name of this fish again? Sawara. Sawara. That, that's interesting, right? Sawara. You can see it, it actually kind of looks like chicken. <laughs> But it's not chicken. It's not chicken. Don't be, don't be, uh, don't be scared. You can actually eat chicken sashimi in Japan, but that's for another time, right? All right. I'm gonna go with sawara first because I've never had this before. Now, a lot of people like to put their wasabi in here, but I actually like doing this. I put a little bit on my soy sauce. It's actually okay. A lot of people used to do it like this a long time ago, and then. I also like putting a little bit on the plate so I can adorn my sashimi with Oh my god, it's not going down. Sorry. Bloopers. There you go. <laughs> then I mix it into the soy sauce, which is a special soy sauce. Uh, sashimi yo shoyu, right? Sashimi shoyu, right? Which is a special soy sauce that is made for sashimi. Now I put just a little bit on the top of it. And then here I go, right? Just a teeny, teeny little bit of soy sauce and... Hmm. This is smoked. Um, I just realized that. It's smoked. It's very good. It's actually very um, soft. It kind of melts in your mouth. All right. Let's go one by one, right? I'm going to have half of this one because I already know I'm not a fan of uh, liver. So just a tiny, tiny little bit. <laughs> right, Kimo? Some of them are good. Some of them... Um, 
foreigners may not like them very much, but you know, you have to try everything before you judge. Again, just a little bit of soy sauce and... Wow, that's actually really good. It's kind of buttery. Mm. I like that one, yeah. That's really, really good. All right, let's go with um, the tuna. Tuna, as I said, it's it's a stable. Everybody has tuna. Everybody has had tuna. It's it's always good. Like look at that red color. I think this is is a kami, which is uh, the part of the lean tuna. We have many many types of tuna. We have akami. We have two toro. We have o toro. We have kama toro, which is like there's a lot of lot of types of tuna, right? Bean toro, like, a lot of types of tuna. This is the lean part. It actually looks like it has some nice fat going on. I'm really, really um, looking forward to this. I actually love tuna. I love uh, chutoro, which is like medium fatty tuna, right? Let's go. A little bit of wasabi and then some soy sauce and here we go. Mm. Yeah. You can never go wrong with tuna. It's it's just, for me, it's, it's <laughs> the best sashimi. Like it's, it's meaty, it's flavorful. It's fatty, even if it's lean, when it's good tuna, it's fatty as well. So honestly, tuna is, is my favorite sashimi. All right, let's go with the red snapper. That, that I've been eyeing that out for quite a, quite a while now. Red snapper, look at that. It's almost transparent, look at that. Ooh, putty putty, right? In Japanese, you say putty putty when it's like very bouncy. <laughs> let's see, here we go. Yum, and... Hmm. I'm gonna be honest. The tuna, the tuna was better. But this actually is not bad. And last but not least, the king of the day, the kin medai, kin medai, right? This is a very special fish. It's actually very expensive, and it's considered a luxury sort of a... Woo! Luxury food. <laughs> there we go. I just did something very rude for that, to that fish. <laughs> you can see like how the scales, right? Uroko, like the scales are interesting, right? Oof. I actually like kinmedai a lot, but I don't eat it a lot because as I said, it's sort of a luxury ingredient. It's kind of expensive. Here we go. It has a beautiful white. Mm. Yeah. Just, just like the, the awabi, it's kind of kori kori, right? It's very bouncy, it's very meaty, but it's full of juices. It's full of that good sashimi thing. It's like if you had like a, a very bouncy and meaty fatty tuna. So it has those properties of that flavor of the fat of the sort of like tuna thing going on as well as the awabi bounciness. It's just, which is really good. That's why it's so expensive. Everybody loves it. All right, so over here we have some tempura assortment kind of thing. Can you tell us a little bit more about what, what's in here? Maitake, kinmedai, ankimo, kanba no onsumeji, ikurage, Yes, I love, I love kinmedai. I, I really love it. All right, so it's a lot of mushrooms because right now we are on autumn, right? In Japan, in, in, on, on autumn, we eat a lot of mushrooms, right? We have many mushrooms. We have maitake, right? We have over here shiitake, over here shimeji. So over here, we have three three different types of mushrooms. Maitake, shimeji, and shiitake, right? Maitakes are known for being very good for your health, right? They, they are supposed to make your stomach, flora, and um, good bacteria flourish like they are so very good for diets I, i'm not sure about that i mean you can see me i'm kind of plump <laughs> then over here we have shimeji which is like pretty much like the standard the standard mushroom that we have in japan we eat it in a lot of ways we put it in nave we put it in uh stir fry we do a lot of stuff with it then over here we have uh shiitake which i think everybody has heard of right shiitake are full of umami right it's it's pretty much the the mushroom of Japan, right? Well, we also have maitake and a lot of that, but this is pretty much like when you think of mushrooms from Japan, you think of shiitake, right? Then, uh, as well, kinmedai, right? As, as we were like eating over there, kinmedai as well. We have it over here as well as tempura, which I'm actually really looking forward to that. And then we have over here also kimo, right? Which is the innards of uh, ang, which is a sort of kind of fish, right? And 
Here's the fun part about tempura. You eat it with rock salt. Look at that. Perfectly crushed, beautiful rock salt. All right, guys. So let's say let's say we go with the star of the show today first, right? I think I'm going to go with the king medai first, right? Sounds good. Right here we go. Wah, wah. Look at that. Like we had the sashimi before, right? Now it's a tempura kind of thing going on. I'm pretty sure this is going to be really fatty and really soft and just amazing. Like my mouth is just watering just to just thinking about this coming in, right? Oh, it smells so good. Here we go. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> it's really good. Just just the fat it like just like explodes in your mouth, right? It's it's a bomb of, of fat and umami. <laughs> Probably that actually does a trick, right? So she she just said that this rock salt actually has a lot to do with it, right? It, it, it makes uh, the flavor just like a little bit more intense. Um, how, how about we go with maitake, right? Maitake. You probably don't know maitake, right? It's, as I said, like this is a uh, very popular mushroom in Japan for uh, healthy reasons, right? For health reasons, it's, it's a lot, in a lot of diets, right? I actually don't eat this that much, so I'm kind of like uh, curious about how it, it's going to taste and temper because, you know, Healthy and fried food, opposites, right? <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Mm. You got that. Mm. Yeah, it's very mild. It it tastes healthy even though it's like fried. なんか健康にいいと聞きますよね。そうですね。すごくその差というかギャップが面白いですね。あのテンプラにあの、健康にいい機能というか。はい。ヘルシーですね。ヘルシーですね。<笑> <laughs> Look at this volume. Uh, as I said uh, earlier, right, Chankalava started. Right, you can feel autumn right over here, right? Oof, look at that. That looks amazing. Um, Torizana, which is uh, just pretty much like a one size, well, no, not one size, like a personal. Let's do this. With a lot of calories, right? So you can get big and strong like the like the sumo wrestlers. <laughs> 